Art of Forgiveness, Toastmaster Sparshita. Forgiving others is not a completely altruistic act. It's in your own self-interest. If we are not able to let go and ultimately forgive a person who has hurt us, we hold ourselves in a state of pain and sufferings. There we really have a past that we can never change. I say the ability to forgive as a sign of freedom and an act of self-love. To forgive means releasing yourself from the past events and people who have hurt you. It indicates that you are ready to move on and embrace your present moment. Not only this, forgiveness also promotes health benefits, such as healthier relationships, improved self-esteem, improved heart health, lower blood pressure, a decrease in depression and anxiety, and lots of benefits to the immune system. But why should we choose to forgive someone who has treated us badly? Because it can help us move on to live a happier, healthier life. Having said that, we should not feel pressurized to forgive someone out of obligation or because we think it's the right thing to do. I also need to point out that forgiveness is not the only way to move on from painful past experiences. It is possible to lead a happy and healthy life without forgiving your perpetrator. Forgiveness is not easy. And for someone who has been deeply hurt by another, it can feel almost impossible. But I have some helpful tips to practice the art of forgiveness for those who want to. Number one, refrain from judgments. When we form judgments about people, we are forming concrete opinions of them that we do not allow to change. To truly forgive a person, we need to open our mind and focus on ourselves and allow ourselves to accept others without judgment. Number two, live in the present. If we hold our thoughts in the past, we assign more importance to what has already happened than what is or could be happening in our lives. We may also get stuck on negative thoughts and memories which no longer serve our purpose. Carl Jung famously said, I am not what happened to me. I am what I choose to become. When we apply this statement to our lives, we allow ourselves to accept others without any judgment. Number three, choose kindness. When an ego takes over, we can become overly focused on the distinction between right and wrong. We need to remember that by embarking on a pursuit to prove that someone is wrong, we are being unkind, whether we intend to be or not. When we choose kindness, we love and accept those who have hurt us and choose not to be weighed down by the thoughts of righteousness and blame. Number four, look within. Instead of focusing on what a person has done to hurt you without any judgment or blame for yourself or another, focus on how it has made you feel. By validating and pinpointing our own emotions, we are better equipped to process and understand their past hurts. Number five, learn to let go. When we view our experiences, positive and negative, as ways to grow and expand as people, not only we are able to let go of a past that no longer serves a purpose, but we are also able to use these past experiences to shape a life that we really want to live. Part of this is letting go of the unpleasant emotions about the past. And remember, you don't need to forget your past experiences. You just need to choose not to let your past control the way you feel in the present. And my last tip is take responsibility. We often try to point the finger and blame those who done us wrong. But when we apply this logic to our lives, 
we essentially give power over to other people because we are saying that i am powerless to change until you do but when we take full responsibility for where we are at we open up the opportunity to learn from our experiences and take control over the way we feel lastly forgiveness is a journey and everyone takes it at their own pace if you feel that forgiveness is not right or possible for you do not judge yourself harshly with that said i leave you with one quote judge nothing you will be happy forgive everything you will be happier love everything you will be the happiest thank you so much back to team out